Okay, we've got to uh, use order of operations knowledge to solve a problem. So the math is uh, 2y times z squared divided by minus 4x times y plus 1 and uh, gives us the hint that we have to know our order of operations. It also tells us the values of our variables, so we're going to have to plug those in. So uh, we have to know order of operations, so that's this PEMDAS, which is parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So let's just plug in these values here. So for the y, we have a 2. For the z, we've got 4. So that becomes 4 squared because it's z squared. It's divided by minus 4 times the x, which x is equal to minus 3. And then finally, we have y plus 1. So the y is 2, so that becomes 2 plus 1. Now, you notice I put some parentheses in here, uh, but that doesn't really change anything because we're just multiplying and dividing so it doesn't matter because multiplication and division are uh, you know you can do them in either order uh, so first thing we have to do though because there's a parentheses and there's an addition inside you've got to do the parentheses before you do the addition because you can see here parentheses comes before addition so we have to do this 2 plus 1 before we can finish the problem So we have minus 4 times minus 3. So the 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So now we've got, uh, we still have an exponent we want to work, deal with because that's the next thing you have to do. So, you know, because if you did it the other way, um, you wouldn't want to be 2 times 4 and then square that. Like that, that doesn't work. So you have to square this 4 first because uh, it's 4 to the power 2. So you have 2 times 2 and then 4 squared is equal to 16 divided by negative 4 times negative 3 times 3. So now we can, now it's all just multiplication. There's no more uh, parentheses that matter. Uh, there's no more exponents. So we can take 2 times 2 is 4 times 16 will give us 64. And then we have minus 4 times minus 3 uh, because you got the minuses multiplied uh, they become positive so it gives us 12 the four, negative 4 times negative 3 is 12 times 3, tw 3 times 12 is 36 so the fraction that you end up with is 64 over 36 uh, but you can simplify that by looking at this and realizing well you can divide each the bottom and top by 4 to get him a simpler fraction. So if we take 64 divided by 4, so we're just dividing each part by 4 now. 64 divided by 4 gives me 16. And 36 divided by 4 is 9. So that's, uh, that's just a simplified version of 64 over 36. So the key here is just to remember this PEMDAS and fill in the uh, variables and make sure you don't make mistakes with the sign so when you multiply the negatives you have to make sure that you get a positive okay